sofa, mama. Watch your spoon. It's a man of God lifts her up to her feet. This is a very touched and emotional scene right now. He wears all over the world. Amen. Amen. Imagine what would have happened to this family. Imagine ce qui allait se passer dans cette famille. There is a man at the back there. At first, you did not know what you were entering into. You thought it was just a normal thing, but now you are seeing it going the wrong way. And now you have entered. They have initiated you. What they want you to bring, you cannot provide it. And they are after you. Come out and be free. Only Jesus Christ can set you free. You have engaged yourself without knowing what you were going into. You have been initiated into a cause. Has sido iniciado en un oculto, así que conectates con nosotros. You are now into a cult. Señor nunca más se lo corre. Come out, only Jesus Christ can set you free. Seguimos con profecía. Seguimos con profecía. Yeah, I'm Paul Primus. I I I confirm the prophecy, the man of God. Uh, just uh, declared now that someone was uh, initiated in a call and uh, is uh, suffering the effect. I'm actually the person. At first, you did not know what you were going to. No, no I I visited uh, my late father's friend and uh, I was sitting outside. So I was called to come in and share because the food was ready. So when we ate, there was a lady sitting beside me. She drank the wine that was on the table and then she put it in front of me. I also took it and drank. I, I never knew it was uh, evil, satanic. It, it has been affecting me for, uh, as my late father's pension file was spending, I had to go see this man to help since he was a big man. He asked me to go see someone at the office where this file is concerned. I went and met that person. The person said uh, my father was owing them some money and uh, they have a way which they are going to get back the money, whether I like it or not. So I started seeing a lot of funny, funny things happening around. It went up to a point where uh, there was that demand for me to sacrifice. They are asking you for something. I refuse to do it. I refuse completely. And but if you refuse, if God does not come in, uh -huh. your life will go for it. That is my junior brother, my follower. This thing, this, the whole thing has brought the family down. Nothing to show, even like this, he's not married, no wife, nothing to do. We are 10 of us, nobody is doing anything. Our mother is there. When we came, when we left, Amanda came the, in the house where we live. The spirit came, come and talk to her, come and slap her, come, they say they want to kill her. When we even came here, the spirit right where we came and slept, the spirit is there. Can you call your mother? Mama Lancho, Mama Lancho, Mama, come. This is our day. I've suffered. Oh, Papa, thank you. Oh, Papa, thank you. Wait, 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 Mama, stand up. Stand up, Mama. Help you. You don't want to suffer. 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 Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Help me, Watch your school. This man of God lifts her up to her feet. This is a very touching and emotional scene right now. He wears all over the world. Continue to stay connected. 
This is not just ordinary cries, but cries born of faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen. That is the prophet of God at work. That is God's general at work. Continue to watch your screen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As people's oh, destinies are being changed, people's chains are being broken, people's lives are being transformed just by one word of prophecy from the man of God, Apostle John G. Oh, what indeed a great privilege. In the have. mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free. Téléspectateur, quel qu'en soit votre cas, la délivrance s'opère toujours ici au ministère de l'Arche, l'Alliance de Dieu. Le Saint-Esprit est en eux. Connectez-vous et vous serez aussi délivrés car l'Esprit du Seigneur est sur son serviteur à la contre de Dieu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pour apporter la délivrance et libérer les captifs. Demeurez dans une attitude de méditation. Et sachez Thank que you, la distance n'est pas une barrière. Oh, Jesus, love, family of land job. Regardez Thank you. Thank la you, délivrance Jesus. familiale oh, qui s'opère ici. Cette famille de famille yes. est déclarée libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Thank you, Jesus, Thank for saying. Father, we love you. We appreciate you, Jesus. Our family, family is free. Amen. Our family is free. Amen. If this service today si ce culte was because of this family, I give famille. God the glory. Alors, je rends gloire à Dieu. Amen. Amen. Imagine what. Would have happened to this family. Imaginez ce qui allait se passer dans cette famille. My name is uh, Primus Lanjo. Uh, I am a native of Bui Division, precisely uh, from a village called uh, Mbinon. So this standing beside me is my elder sister. It's one of my sister, my sister again. That's the daughter of my sister and uh, the, the last one there is my the last born here to confirm the prophecy that was uh, pro proclaimed by Apostle John Chi last Sunday. The prophecy was accurate. The prophecy was that uh, there is a brother here who was uh, initiated in a cult without uh, him knowing, and uh, the, the situation is uh, very tense and. Uh, he needs to be free. Truly, I confirm this prophecy because uh, it is what happened to me. Uh, this happened to me some time ago in uh, uh, 1998. It's been a long time that uh, I have been str struggling with it. So much has been stolen from me because of what happened. I, I visited a friend that it was not my friend, it was my late father's friend. He was a, a very important figure and uh, I happened to have been sitting in front of uh, his house. And then uh, I was called to come in, that food was ready. Uh, so when I got in, uh, the big man himself positioned us on how we were to sit on the dining table. So. Uh, after eating, there was a lady sitting beside me. She took uh, the wine that was in the middle of the table, put it in her cup and drank. And uh, I did same. And uh, when I did same, I discovered that two people on the opposite side, they looked at me in a kind of uh, amazement. They were amazed. I did not understand what was going on. Actually, blood that was uh, that I drank, the human blood, and uh, without knowing. And uh, after drinking it, uh, the said big man, he hit the table three times, and he said, "These children nowadays, 
these children nowadays he said it three times and uh, i did not i did not know what was going on sincerely what happened was that uh, my father passed away on the first of may 1992 and uh, he gave us a list of uh, people who were owing him and uh, there was a car in the garage and another one that a friend took from him we, we did try to recover all of this to no avail we never were able to get a dime so the, the pension was the only springboard in front of us so i had to put in uh, effort to to get the pension and um, it was not forthcoming i decided to go see this uh, friend of my dad when i went and met him he directed me to see someone at the cnps so when i met the person the person uh, said my dad was owing them some amount of money and uh, they have a procedure of which they were going to collect the money from me so actually when this man said this to me uh, i made him understand that uh, my father's last word was that he did not owe anybody so as i continued pushing with the pension i, I it got to a point where there was this demand for me to to, to carry out a, a, a human sacrifice and uh, my sister there was actually this uh, erica was the one who was in demand it's not just uh, one of my sister there that was being demanded my mother also and one of my brothers who is not here so with the conscience i have in me i i could not do that and uh, uh, when i was not willing to do that this this my sister is one in red she she had a very ghastly accident in which she was in coma for for about uh, one month when i was not willing to comply this uh, uh, this occult group continued uh, uh, attacking and uh, some in a dream they come to me in a dream and and they press on and they press on but still uh, i could not do that my sister there uh, when she had that the accident uh, this living water was able to save her mm -hmm. I want to say that uh, the, the, there is power in the living water. It is something, it is, it is a very powerful medium of, of God. As uh, time went on, they, they, they continued to demand, to demand. And since I was not willing to do what they wanted, they, they they just got me entangled so uh, all the opportunities that were coming my way uh, were just uh, being taken down the drain uh, i did work with a very big ngo and uh, i came out of that ngo with with actually nothing to show the dreams uh, i kept dreaming were very horrible in the night i i could see myself feasting feasting with uh, people i i did not know and uh, this was affecting me it was affecting me and affecting the, the whole family has really affected me because uh, my i had a fiance of of, of whom i had uh, started uh, dating and uh, i had been to their family and uh, also I, I took this fiance to this uh, said uh, big man uh, not knowing this uh, entanglement has really kept me down because 
through the years uh, that there have been opportunities for me to to travel out and uh, each and every time everything goes down the drain I, I, I don't get to that point at one time uh, I was uh, about to, to travel from here instead I left here and went to Nigeria in, in a kind of confusion uh, the, the, the cult is they did not just come to me uh, spiritually they, they, they sometimes come to me physically yes and they will say it that I have to do something that's the way they say that's the way they say it yeah, they say you I have to do something or, or else I am going to suffer for it and this was for me to sacrifice this uh, demonic attack and uh, at one time, uh, one of my brothers uh, went to the village and he brought some, some Afri African charm. I also joined him in, in, in using them. He collected this from a witch doctor and uh, in fact, uh, I've been using it and it, it, it does not solve the problem. It has not solved the problem. If it, if it, if it has solved the problem, I, I will not be here. Since the, the cultists and the witch doctors, all of them are deceivers, we decided to come here to seek the face of God. And uh, uh, when, when, when I came here, I was located and delivered. I'm feeling very light. So the prophecy that the man of God gave was true and uh, I am full of joy and ecstasy. After the prayer, I don't more see the, the bad dreams. I don't more feel depressed. I don't feel despondency uh, and I praise God for that. My name is Lanjo Jane Francis. The person next to me is my junior brother, my follower. And the person next to him is my lovely mother. And the person next to my junior, my mother, is my junior sister, my junior brother, my first daughter, and our Benjamin. I'm so, so overwhelmed, so glad, so happy from the depth of my heart this day to stand here. I used to see people stand and I say, oh God, when will I stand my own? And today I am standing. Therefore, this God truly is a God that does not compromise. During the prophetic service last week, Sunday, the man of God located my brother through this prophecy. He said, there is a man at the back there. You have been in initiated in a court unknowingly. And right now, they are after you. They are asking for, for something that you cannot give. Come out. God is able, ready to change your story, to heal you. I confirm this prophecy to be true because truly my brother was initiated in a court and we all knew it. God revealed it already. During this initiation, my brother passed through a lot. At times I will cry. At times I will rule, I call God, where are you, Father? They, they caused him, he was confused. He will sit and he will be talking alone. He will sit and he will laugh. And this entanglement was too much for him in a way that nothing was moving in, in his side, even in the whole family. He sit like this, when you ask him, what about marriage? He say, what am I doing with marriage? You don't have age or marriage. And this initiation, like nine times, he has gone to the embassy to travel to America. When he go, the, either a pussycat will pass, a dog will pass, a, a, he will see one of those people in the court, and that is how the whole thing will break and he will come back. This initiation has affected the whole family. We are 10 of us in our, from our mother's home. Her grandchildren, grandchildren, the great grandchildren, 
and nothing is moving at all as i'm talking like this nobody is moving forward even our mother sitting there seven years now she has been down this is a woman that used to be very strong the devil they did through this affliction she can she, her legs begin to pain the whole body this same initiation caused my junior sister into a crucial accident that she was in coma for one month three weeks you pinch her like this she will not shake lying helpless in the hospital and uh, oh my god uh, jesus And with the help of this anoint, uh, living water, that is how my sister got up from that bed of that attack. This same affliction has afflicted me. I had a crucial accident. My ankle was broken, bone was broken, and operation was taken upon. And it was only by the grace of God that I got up because I stood and I'm praying to God. So after suffering for so many years, going up and down, praying, going to man, one man of God to another, we, we now got a channel that we discovered our father in the house, Senior Apostle John Chi. And when we fall in love with this grace, we, we were not every day every night we are watching ark of god covenant tv and that is how we decided to seek for the face of god for our deliverance and as god will do his things when we came god located us through his servant when he located us he prayed for us the prophecy is true and we are all delivered thank you jesus thank you servant of the most high for allowing yourself for god to use you to bring people like us out of bondage thank you father thank you daddy there is a lot of changes in the life of my brother and even our own lives because when we met him today he was accommodated by the servant of god and uh, when we met him today, he was so handsome again. At first he was looking so dark and he was like sad. But now he is happy and he is comfortable. I believe this prophecy has brought total deliverance in my family. Has brought change. We are transformed and we are blessed. All that was stolen from us by that which evil man has been restored. Amen. We give glory to God. My advice to viewers all over the world watching us here and to those that are here right in the church is that there is no challenge that is above God. The only thing that you have to do is to run to God. And when you run to God, be patient and wait on God because he never fails. No matter how it takes in the presence of God, he must visit you. My name is Apollonia Lanjo. I come from a uh, Bui division. This speaking them also na my picking. So the, the thing where he bring me for here and this my picking them. We, I want for talk, say this picking them all, and I'm picking them so. How will they stand for years? So, so the testimony where one talk for here, now again, this is my picking. We stand for my corner. So, so Mama says her name is Mama Polonia, and that she is from Bui Division from the Northwest region, and that the children standing next to her, they are all her children, and that she is here to thank God. For what he has done in her life and in her family. This Peking we stand be, be, behind me for year. The Peking don't go through sickness, uh, problem there for for courtesy people. 
or a Christian man, where therefore we say it can't follow only ye. I don't look that thing it past me. I say how this speaking of this muscle, these big people that they, they can't follow ye with this uh, uh, kind of thing. Then the one key this man picking say don't do it. Then I talk say oh na, oh na for God. So Mama is saying that she wants to confirm what the man of God Apostle John she said about her son, and that right from a very tender age, her son was always facing uh, challenges in that occultic men were always making advances and propositions to him and she kept asking why would it be that all occultic men who only want to come and seek after her son and why were they looking for the life of her son and she put everything in the hands of god hoping that one day god will settle the matter so i believe sick as i believe sick the prophecy where uh, I could go to church, John T. He talked for me, he talked for we. Then he prayed for we, pray for my picking them. So now I don't feel better, I did fine. Nothing, nothing do me again. And I'll be sure, say, I know we'll go how we become. So, Mama is also saying that before she was ill and that when she came here with her family the man of god senior apostle john she located them and gave them that word of prophecy prayed for the family and prayed for her and now she is fine and she knows that she is not going back the same i want to thank god for my healing when man of god don't pray for me and i'll be here and i know be the bend down i feel bend down now so and i feel work at you. are you just watching like that Celebrate Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Not do me again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my living God. Thank you. Viewers all over the world, you could see Mama demonstrating and exercising herself, things which she could not do before. But after the man of God, Senior Apostle John, she prayed for her in the name of Jesus Christ. She is healed and she is now free. She can now walk freely for the glory of God. My name is Lanjo Mori. Me, this is my junior sister, my junior brother. My sister's daughter, then my junior brother, Benjamin. I want to thank God for this deliverance. I'm the person they are talking about that had an accident. I was traveling to Douala. I, ran a, I had an accident. I was in a coma for three months, two weeks. Nobody knew that I would get up from that bed because I was 50-50. It's only this, uh, this living water that has saved my life. So I want to thank the servant of God, Apostle John Chi, for allowing himself for God to use to save, to win souls, to wear people like me in the name of Jesus. I'm here to confirm the prophecy to be true. 100% that the man of God said the other day. I want to thank God for his servant, Apostle John Chi, for allowing himself for God to be used to deliver my family from this bondage. I'm so happy. I'm grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Clap for Jesus Christ. In fact, I want to thank God Almighty first, and I thank Senior Prophet John G for locating my family last week. The prophecy he gave my brother last week was 100% true. We have gone through a lot. A lot of stagnation, limitation, setback in our family. Nothing is going, nothing to show up. Last, last week, when we came here, we were located, and he, and he prayed for us, and things have changed in my family, even in my own home. There was no peace, but I want to thank God because things have changed in my home. I was the person that he was asked to sacrifice, but I thank God that he did not sacrifice me. He said, no, he cannot sacrifice his own sister. So, I am alive today because my brother refused to sacrifice me and by the grace of God too. When I came here, I was not feeling fine. Even yesterday, I was moving with drip upon my hand. But as I came here this morning, I was not even sure that I would, would sit for the whole day. But now I am fine. I am okay. Everybody is fine in my family. I want to return all the glory to God. I'm called Lanjo Stanley. 
God is really wonderful because uh, when I heard uh, last week that uh, my elder brother was here, my mother told me to visit them here. So when I came, I heard that uh, the prophecy that uh, the man of God really gave it was really true because uh, what uh, happened with my brother, I saw it and I can really bear witness that. The prophecy was really true, so I'm thanking God for taking care of my brother right up to this level and guiding our family. So I just want to thank God and I pray that uh, God should keep the man of God for the wonder job he's doing for people. And I'm thanking the man of God that uh, he's so wonderful, he's so dear, long live uh, Prophet John Chi. And I thank you once more for delivering my family in Jesus' name. Citizens of heaven, my name is Kiven Shola. The people standing next to me are my uncles, aunties, and grandmother and my mom. I just want to confirm the prophecy the man of God gave to be true because I'm the first grandchild of the family. The, the occultic powers really entangle the family, not only the children, but the grandchildren because we have nothing to show, limitations, stagnation, we have shame and disgrace, so I just want to thank God because when I heard the man of God uh, located my family, I knew a new dawn has come for my family. Our past is over. My name is uh, Lanjo Derrick, and uh, the person next to me is my, uh, my elder sister's daughter, and uh, the others are my elder siblings. I want to Thank God uh, for the anointing power of uh, the man of God, uh, the senior prophet uh, John Chi, for locating our family and uh, delivering us. Uh, I want to say that uh, we are very relieved and uh, we bless the name of God for the deliverance. My advice to those out there who are interested in... Uh, uh, which doctors who are interested to join a cult uh, is to tell them that uh, it is not something good to be part of. I standing here, I think the grace of God was, was at work because uh, these people really needed me. They wanted me to be part of the team and uh, they, they even proposed uh, a very big push for me. And, uh, and, and, I, and I did not uh, conform with that. So you have to be contented with uh, what you have. You don't have to just do anything to, to, to get what you want.